Hey, 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 hey! It's Saturday the 22nd of May and we are going to do some work around armpits. So armpit work, why would you want to be doing armpit work? Well, uh, to begin with, man, those armpits work hard. <laughs> There's a muscle in your armpit, it creates your armpit, it's called the subscapularis. So it attaches onto the front of the scapula, which is that bony triangle on your back and attaches it to your ribs. So it's a subscapularis muscle sandwich, I guess. Uh, its job is to keep your scapula steady, um, keep it stable, especially when you are carrying things with your arms away from your body. Man, we use that muscle a lot in modern life. Driving cars, scrolling, carrying kids, picking up dogs, big boxes, all sorts of things. The scapula, sorry, subscapularis is constantly in use and it gets very tired out. Now, when it gets tired out, it brings your scapula away from your spine. It helps add to a round shouldered effect. Yeah, so you'll get short and tight through your pecs, but then the armpits will be like pulling you forwards as well. So that creates tension in your upper back. If you find that you get real kind of knots around here, um, which are, no matter what you do, are unable to release, check your armpits. If you're finding that you're getting kind of neck pain, if your head is in a forced forwards position, um, check your armpits. If you find that you're getting kind of weird sort of almost palpitations through the front of your chest, Check your armpits. If you have upper back stuff, which no other treatment has resolved and you haven't checked your armpits, check your armpits. Okay. <laughs> so that's going to be the, the majority of our work today. Um, we're going to take them steady. You might want some cushions because uh, if you are sat down on a chair, um, you're going to want to be able to rest easy whilst you work. Somehow I feel like we've done these really recently, but at the same time, you can't check your armpits often enough. Also, ladies, whilst you're there, you can have a wee fertile around into your breast tissue. Check your boobs. It's a win-win. Right. So, <sighs> let's do some prep. First thing we're going to do is... Ooh, New t-shirt, it's quite hard to get to me, quite hard to get to my collarbones. <laughs> so you're just going to put fingers above and below collarbones. You're going to place the other hand gently on your neck. You don't want to <coughs> squeeze. You just want to connect. So find a position with your feet flat on the floor uh, or if you're laid down with knees bent so you can have your feet flat. I've got ever such cold hands. Oh. And this is always a nice piece of prep work. Do it, do it, do it. It's a nice piece of prep work. There we go. Um, for anything where you're working around your shoulders. Because, man, front of necks, they get so tired and tight and forced. So just like it's always good to uh, check your armpits, it's always good to just give the front of your neck some love. Okay. So we're just going to stay here for a couple of minutes. Think as well about your lower hand is going to um, Sit with the intention of sliding towards your pelvis. Note the intentionality of my words. We're not pulling down to the pelvis. We are intending to slide to the pelvis. So we want the tissue to lead the path. If you see, mm, explain that better, Karen. So we want it to be the tissue that goes, okay, we're ready to... Ready to release, ready to get slinky, ready to shift. And then your upper hand 
It's just thinking about bringing the skin under your hand and then all the muscularity under that up towards the top of your head. So you're looking or intending to open up a gap between top hand and bottom hand, yeah? Check in with the rest of your body. Are you holding tension in your thighs? Are you gripping your bum? Have you scrunched up your feet? Have you got puzzled brow? <laughs> Just let it all drop. All right, so now, seeing as we're working into the armpits and we're looking at this, we're gonna just do a little bit of head tilt, shoulder stretching. Today is obviously not my day for big words, or small words, or words joined together in sentences. So you're just going to take your hand and anchor across uh, the top of your shoulder. So that's a muscle called your upper trapezius. And then you're just going to think about bringing this ear down to meet the shoulder. Now, as you're holding that stretch, imagine the working hand is melting into the muscle, or the muscle is melting around that working hand. That it is turning from rock to liquid. Now you can also help by just letting that arm drop. So as ever, you don't have to overstretch. This is not competitive neck stretching. On a scale of one to 10, you wanna be somewhere around a six. One being your hand's not even on your shoulder and 10 being it hurts so bad that you're on the ceiling. You're working for a six. We're creating space. And then bring your head back up to neutral and we're going to swap. Oh, another cold hand. Oh. <laughs> Wrapping your fingers across the muscle on the top of the shoulder, that upper trapezius, letting the worked on arm drop. Checking in with your body. Then when you're ready, see, I was quite happy just there. I was just quite enjoying the sensation of this hand dropping into the muscle. But then when you're ready, bringing your ear towards your shoulder, feeling that stretch, and that stretch is going to be a six out of ten. Certainly no higher than seven out of ten.
feeling that breath dropping in. And you may well be wondering, Carrie, why do I do all this prep when you tell me what the main stretch is? Well, it's a bit like painting a room, isn't it? You want the room to look amazing and gorgeous and fabulous and fresh and interesting and creative and whatever you want your room to look like. But to get there, you have to wash down the walls and get off all the sticky gunk. You need to sand down the skateboards and the door frames. You need to put tape around the window so you don't just paint the glass. The biggest part of painting a room is the prep. The biggest part of working on a body, again, it's the prep all the nuances, all those in to, not integrated, just all the relationships between things. So we're sifting off the gunk bit by bit, which eventually means a better response and a better outcome. All right, one more minute here. Itchy, itchy. Always good if you manage to not get your hair caught as well. <laughs> All righty, so bring yourself back. Give yourself a little shake out. Um, now. Uh, subscapularis, so the armpit muscle. So you're going to work sat uh, with one hand running around the edge of the ribs and into the armpit. So if I bring it this way, but then this arm that you're working on, you're going to just let drop. So in order for this to work, you've got to stabilize yourself. Yeah. So if that feels like too far um, to be comfortable think about well how can you change the how can you change your position you could do this laid down with the working arm on your shoulder you don't get the same amount of gravity but it's a much easier start if you're so tight in your armpits um, you could rest your working arm on a table possibly so long as you've still got somewhere for this arm to go okay so I'm, I've already started obviously because I'm yakking. <laughs> so the fingertips are just running around the side of your ribs and literally up to your armpit. Uh, your thumb at the front can also be um, acting as a two for one and you could be using that to get into your pectoralis muscle, into that chest muscle. Uh, highly recommend nice short fingernails when you're doing this because it can be a bit pokey um, but obviously if you're doing it through your t-shirt that's less of an issue having said that though totally recommend skin on skin trust me you don't want to see me sat in my bra doing these things bra and pants here we go i'd get really cold it wouldn't be pretty not that it's meant to be pretty but it's also not supposed to look like a shivering blue human smurfette Alrighty, so we're not pushing, we're not shoving, we're not grottling around in there. We are merely like fingertips. Here is the armpit, armpit. Here is the fingertips. Pleased to meet you. Uh, and that's all that needs to happen. Making sure that shoulders stay down from ears. You've got your feet firmly placed on the floor. Checking in that you're not squeezing your bum, squeezing your thighs. You want everything else to stay relaxed. Um, generally, I would also say, you know, chin relaxed, head relaxed, neck relaxed. But I'm talking to you, so my head is up. If as well you can feel any tingling in the fingers of the arm that you're working on, this is the one, 
uh, if you can feel any tingling, just change the position of your working hand in the armpit. Uh, if you can feel a pulse under the fingertips of the working hand, that one up here, uh, again, just move the working hand a little bit so that you're not on anything that pulses or anything that sends tingles to fingers. me looking over there checking the clock it's kind of interesting getting used to having um, a new tech setup so <laughs> how long have we been running we are this is session number 54 55 so that's 55 sessions I've recorded and during that time I have upgraded a lot so uh Feedback from the first sessions was like, yeah, the sound quality is crap, carry, sort it out. And then I upgraded the camera because it makes so much more sense for you when you can see a better view of what's going on. Um, but it does mean that I forget to look up here and I start to look down there. So I have to remember to look up here because I'm also monitoring myself on the laptop there. Awkward. Alrighty, so very gently just bring your fingers away. Give them a little, little, uh, whatever that is. Roll your shoulders and we're going to work on the opposite shoulder. Whew. Cold nose, it's cold in here. Okay, so remember fingertips are running around the side of your ribs, the line of your ribs and coming into your armpit. So I've got my working arm stable on my knee. I'm using a cushion for just a little bit of height, a little bit of support, but my worked on arm, the one receiving the treatment is just gonna drop down because that's gonna allow gravity, as I said before, gravity to do all the work for you. So you don't need to push and you don't need to shove. So remember to keep this arm, this working hand um, soft malleable not like that uh, you can use your thumb at the front if you want to also work into the chest muscle be aware they don't push too hard with that thumb joint we don't want to knacker your thumbs Anchoring ourselves into the ground with flat feet, feeling our asses securely seated in our chairs. Letting our shoulders drop down from our ears. Remembering if we can feel any tingle in our fingers, just to shift where this working hand is positioned and if we can feel a pulse, again, um, to just shift where the fingertips are positioned. Short fingertips, way better. Nails, finger nails, not fingertips. All of this is about patience and stealth. It's about curiosity. Knowing that we are incrementally helping the body and learning awesome skills that you can use for the rest of your life and show your friends how to use. Mm -hmm. 
It's really interesting, even just working on my armpits, I can hear my neck clicking and I can hear my ears popping. So I can feel everything uh, simultaneously joining in on the release. And can you hear that? I go uh, 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 every now and again. <clears throat> Quite a lot of neck gunk being released. <sighs> good, good. Alrighty. So, bring yourself back upright once again. Roll the shoulders, roll them in both directions. See how they feel with a bit of movement. Just going to circle arms. So, at the end of the last session, um, so the last session, yeah, we were looking at hamstrings, weren't we? We did a load of work on our quads, and then we did a load of work on our hamstrings. And one of the things that we were doing was we were having a little dandle, weren't we? So just have a feel now. If you let your shoulders make little circles, how do they feel? Can you remember how they felt from the last session? Does one feel easier still? Do they feel as though they are equal? Check in with your body and see how you're doing. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Tuesday's session. Take care. Bye.